Now, let us look at this question here. I would want you to study it and try to attempt it just for a few minutes. So let's start with part number one. So the question goes, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. And we've been given the coordinates of A and B. So we have the line AB and the perpendicular bisector here. A has coordinates 5, 7. B has coordinates 9 and minus 1. And we want to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. First, we'll find the midpoint of AB. That's the point we will need to calculate the equation of the bisector. So midpoint of AB. That's 5 plus 9 over 2, then 7 plus minus 1 over 2. So this is going to give us 14 over 2, and 7 minus 1, that's 6 over 2. So we get here, so that's the midpoint of AB. We will also need the gradient of AB, it will help us to find the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So for the gradient of AB, we, will, we are going to say minus 1 minus 7 divided by 9 minus 5. And this is going to give us minus 8 over 4, which is minus 2. So this is the gradient of AB. So this means that the gradient of um, the perpendicular bisector is going to come out as a half. So for the equation of the perpendicular bisector, we are going to do y minus 3 is equal to a half of x minus 7. This is y minus 3 is equal to a half of x minus 7 over 2 after expanding the brackets. So y is equal to a half of x minus 7 over 2 plus 3 after adding 3 to both sides. So y is equal to a half of x, and then minus 7 over 2 plus 3 is minus a half. So this here is the final answer. That's the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now we want to go to part the second part of the question. So I'll clear this away. So let's go to the next part of the question. The line through C of coordinates 1, 2, parallel to AB, meets the perpendicular bisector of AB at the point X. Find by calculation the distance BX. Now remember we got the equation of the perpendicular bisector to be y is equal to a half of x minus a half. And here they're telling us that there's a line which is parallel to AB. So I'll just draw that line here. So let's say this is the line that they're talking about. It's parallel to AB. Okay. And it meets the perpendicular bisector of AB at the point X. So this is the point X here. So find by calculation the distance BX. So they want us to find the distance BX. So the distance BX should be this distance here. So first of all, we, want, we would want to find the 
coordinates of x. So in order for us to find the coordinates of x, we will need to find the equation of this line here, which I'd want to call line L. So let's start by finding the equation of line L. An important piece of information that we've been given is that the line L passes through the point C of non-coordinates 1, 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the equation of the line L. So we will use y minus y1 is equal to m of x minus x1. For the point, we're going to use 1, 2. So that will be y minus 2 is equal to m. For the gradient, we are going to use minus 2, which is the gradient of AB. Remember the gradient of AB, we got it to be minus 2. So x minus 1. So remember here, for the point, I'm, I'm using 1, 2. And for the gradient, I'm using minus 2, which is the gradient of AB. Since they are parallel, they have the same gradient. So we're now saying y minus 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 2 after expanding the brackets. So y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. That's the equation of line L. So to find the coordinates of the point x, this is where the perpendicular bisector is meeting the line L. So we're going to take the two equations, the equation of L, y is equal to minus 2x plus 4, and the equation of the perpendicular bisector, y is equal to a half of x minus a half, and we're going to solve the two simultaneously. This is because the line L and the perpendicular bisector are meeting at a point x. So to find the point of intersection, we have to solve them simultaneously. So to do that, I'll simply say minus 2x plus 4 is equal to a half of x minus a half. Okay, so solving this equation will yield the value of x coming out as, as 1.8. And if x comes out as 1.8, to find the value of y, we simply substitute that into any one of the equations. So let's substitute that into the first equation. So that will be y is equal to minus 2 of 1.8 plus 4. And this gives us a value of 0 0.4. So we now have the coordinates of x. That's 1.8 and 0 0.4. So now that we have the coordinates of x as 1.8 and 0 0.4, we can now be able to work out the distance bx, which is the length of the line bx. So let me just create some space here. So I'll take the coordinates of b, which is 9 and minus 1, and the coordinates of x, which is 1.8, 0 0.4. And for bx, I will say bx is equal to the square root of 9 minus 1.8 all squared plus minus 1 minus 0 0.4 all squared. This is equal to the square root of 7.2 squared plus 1.4 squared. If, we, if you type this in, you are going to get bx coming out as 7.33. And that's the final answer right here.